Hello? Hey guys, it's Sabrina. And it's Alex. And today we are going to be bringing you our 2013 non-beauty favorite. Which is like hard for us. I know. It was actually really <sighs> tough finding 13 things that were not beauty related that we actually liked. But I mean, somehow we did it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so let's jump right into our non-beauty favorites. I'm gonna start with a shared favorite of ours, and it's really random, but it's Lara Bars. They taste so good, especially the chocolate chip cookie dough. This they, is a big flavor. They do taste like cookie dough, and they fill you up so fast. And they're like um, gluten-free, they're kosher, they're vegan. We're trying to get healthy in 2014 because we're... Super original. But we definitely started in 2013, so... Ahead of the curve. 2013 favorite, you're welcome. Boom. Favorite number two for our 13 favorites is actually something that comes in a ton of handy, us being hairdressers, is actually a tie to go pen. And I keep this in my bag, and I keep one on my station at work on a constant basis How because... How domestic of We, you. I know, we get color on everything like i feel like when i don't wear white it's covered in hair color so the tie to go definitely is a favorite of mine and i use it on everything and it literally takes stains like right out if you put it on as soon as you get the color on so i love this okay so moving on to another favorite we couldn't decide between but so our number three is literally <laughs> If ridiculous. you have not seen Pitch Perfect, if like, you haven't seen Pitch Perfect, what are you doing under that rock, girl? I'll see you with it. And see. Second being, this is the first Hunger Games, which we loved, and then. We, we watch that DVD literally probably once a week all year. We're watching year. it today. Yeah. <laughs> we rotate between Pitch Perfect, Hunger Games, and Mean Girls. Honestly. but With a dash of EZA. A dash of EZA. But definitely our yeah. DVD favorite was um, the first Hunger Games, but Catching Fire we saw like four times yeah. in the theaters. Like four times. And it was so our good. like most admired makeup artist from the oh, Detroit man. area, Kim Jones, Kim Jones, did makeup in that movie. Yeah. She started out on 8 Mile, which was really cool, and now she's doing Catching Fire. She's so, amazing. It's just like cool to see like a mentor doing something like really dope. So we had to see it, but we ended up really loving it. And yeah. I even liked it so much. I read the books. The last book that I read was um... Green Eggs and Ham. So my favorite number four is actually this binder and it's not even really a binder, it's just like a notepad. And I got this in the dollar section at Target. Love um, Target. Target dollar section is, it's so expensive but I just love it. But I love Gotta this notepad because I keep this in my bag and I write down all my thoughts. We write down like ideas for videos and we write down like things we want to do and places we want to go and like bucket list. Like yeah, definitely. One on my bucket list is building space out of cardboard with glow in the dark paint and like shutting off all the lights. So that was my favorite this year. That's not cool. <laughs> And favorite number five would be, in general, Alex is wearing one right now, but just statement necklaces. This was like one of my favorites this year. If you're in the Metro Detroit area, I got this um, in on Main Street in Royal Oak at one of the little boutiques there, but that's where I got this necklace. They have a lot of beautiful necklaces. We can't really wear rings because we wash a lot of hair and you gotta take them off and put them back on. We can't like really annoying. wear bracelets because they'll jingle in our clients' ears and that's... Again, really annoying. Rude. Yeah. Yeah. So we statement necklaces are usually the go-to. So yeah, we love statement necklaces. I guess we could wear earrings, but I don't wear my hair up, so... Yeah. I don't have holes in my ear, so... Favorite number six this year, actually, when I went to Chicago um, back, I think it was in March of 2013, I went to Topshop and I got this like studded tie. And um, honestly, like studs have been so big for me in 2013, but I love this studded tie. I wear this all the time. It's like a skinnier tie, yeah. so it's really chic and it's really fashionable. And I love the studs that come on it. And Topshop um, in Chicago's like really cool. Amazing. I like it a lot. I mean, I never saw it. Ooh, isn't the, the um, cell block tango in there. He had it coming. 
He had it coming. He so, only had I played sports in high school. <laughs> if you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I'm so pissed. I know that you would have done the same. I'm so pissed. I'm about to cry. So my next <laughs> favorite is this tank. I got this one from Urban Outfitters. It's just um lace. But I got really into a lot of lace clothing this year. I feel like I got like quite a few lace tops, but I just like, I kind of liked a few of the like soft feminine pretty looks this year. Mm -hmm. It's really hard being a drag queen. You have to like soften things up a lot, you know? Cover your rump. Yo, thump that on. Don't drop that, thump that on. No. Oh, donk, oh, donk, oh, donk. This is my hair. I bought it. So my number eight favorite on my non-beauty favorites of 2013 was actually this Gucci belt. Um, Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis. Which is further down on the list. <laughs> but um, I got this Gucci belt at um, Tyson's Galleria when I was home in DC. Um, but like this is the front, it's um, palladium hardware, it's in the silver. And then the sides are all this like awesome textile that has like turquoise in the middle. Which, he really got it to match his hair. Let's honestly. Be real. And then it's leather on the inside. So it's really durable. It's really comfortable. And I just love the look of it. So yay. I got the dopest speaker ever. They come in tons of colors. I got the red because I just thought it was like swag. It's Bluetooth. So like. Here's my phone, here's my speaker, not connected. Stop creeping on my messages. Lots of Instagram. Okay, so I'm gonna play this. So popular. Can't help it. Replacing bets now, it's gonna be Drake, Rihanna, or Beyonce. Or two chains. Shoot, it was on my Drake radio. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I'm here, but I don't know where I'm going. Okay, are you outside? Yeah, but I don't know exactly where, like, I should be. We're in, I'm in building 20. Oh, great. Okay, see you soon. See you soon, my child. You can use it as a phone. So that's the other really cool thing about this speaker. If somebody calls you while your music is playing, it's actually a telephone too. It's got a built-in speaker. So you can talk on the phone instead of having to like find your phone. You can just leave it in your pocket. My next favorite is my pair of uh, Strast Steve Madden shoes. I got these when I was in Chicago as well, along with my uh, top or top shop tie. But these are completely covered in Swarovski crystals. Ooh. Everything. I love them. They're black on black. They're so nice. I have the world's largest feet. So if I find a pair of shoes that I can fit in them, it is like truly a miracle. And I fit Game in these. Changer. And I literally love them so much. Moving on to a shared favor of ours. Yes. This is so cool. Our friend Amber, who actually just got here, she's about to walk in. Hello. Hello. Hi. Her Say hi to Amber. Thanks for saying hi to our friend. But it comes in this little container, so like it doesn't roll all over the place in your purse. It looks like this. And it is, we love hookah. This is an e hookah. There's no nicotine, no tar, no ashes, no flame. It's just water vapor, so it's just like not as harmful. Um, and it literally is just like taste. It tastes so good. This one is cherry lemonade. We also really like watermelon. <laughs> Oh yeah, Amber has the grape one, so. so. So what happens when you suck out of it is this tip will turn blue and then when the blue stops blinking, that means that you have a full like hit and then it's water va vapor that looks like smoke, so. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's water vapor. <laughs> So my last favorite um, is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 35. It's Louis Vuitton. I got this vintage. It's such a classic bag. It never goes out of style. I get so many compliments on it all the time, and I love it. And plus, I got this designer resale, so I didn't pay full price for it, which makes my heart happy. So I love this bag, and that's my last favorite.
So this is our last favorite combined. We are so into ourselves that we got this done. No, this was like an accident. We were in downtown Detroit, which is dope if you haven't been there. If you're you have to Detroit, go. Obviously, you need to go down there. But on the street, especially in the like spring, summertime when it's warm out, they have so many talented street artists. And, and we our had artist's name was Jerry. Jerry. And he does work at Lakeside Mall and Partridge Creek. And he did this completely. Oh my God. Pull it back. Oh Look at how cute we are. I'm adorable. And we love it, and we're gonna frame it for my apartment. And it's support just your so... local artist people. Yes, editing is gonna be really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching our top 13 Thanks. favorites, um, non-beauty favorites of 2013. And um, make sure to comment and give us a thumbs up and subscribe because we are pumping out new videos every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Sometimes it'll get special and there'll be two a week. You're May. welcome. I mean, and you're welcome. Subscribe!